Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Yes, before you ask, I am sitting on the floor. I'm just sitting next to my uh, one of my friends, one of my uh, beautiful friends over here. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. So I just thought um, I'll show off my plant. <laughs> uh, but welcome to my channel. There's been quite a lot of you the past few weeks. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. Welcome to the crew. So for this video, I just thought I would be talking about myself. That doesn't really sound very good. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this video is um, just introducing myself. Um, a lot of you might know me for the fitness side. Some of you have saw, uh, watched my day in the life. And I just thought I'll do a little bit of an introduction into who I am, what, what makes me as a person, what makes me happy, what makes me tick, a little bit of my background as well. Um, I'm going to take you around London, do what I normally do, and uh, we'll have a chat. And I say we all the time, that's because it's, it's us, we're, we're friends here. So for those of you that don't know, I am Nigerian. Obi is a Nigerian name. I moved to the UK when I was about 11. So if you do hear the Nigerian twang every now and then, that's the reason why. When it comes to my training style, I like to call myself a cross lifter, which basically means I do a mix of bodybuilding, strength and conditioning and functional training. I did bodybuilding for years, but then decided to change my outlook on fitness and the change started to happen about three years ago. session but I loved it training always makes me happy even when I have a bad session I still feel incredible after I do it training to me is it's a, it's, a, it's a huge passion it's something that's part of me it's almost like breathing I know that's an exaggeration but for some people with training is something they have to do for me training is something I love and I want to be able to do this for the rest of my life that's why I train so many different ways it may not be bodybuilding but I want to be able to run to get on the rower, even in my 80, 80s, to just have fun with it. And so yeah, a lot of people don't understand. I mean, some of you do follow my channel, but not everyone understands that passion. And for me, it's something I really love to do. So yeah, just being interrupted. I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, yeah, so that is, uh, one part of my life that a lot of you probably know if you follow my channel but yeah fitness is what makes me happy Another thing about me is I am an introvert. Um, if you watch my day in the live, it makes sense. You can tell. Um, now, a lot of it, people mistake being an introvert for being lonely. Um, being an introvert means we love 
being alone. We love our space. Well, I, talk, I will talk for myself. I love being alone in my own space. I've only been living by myself for the past four months and it's been incredible. And it's just nice to come home to my own space. I love my own company. I enjoy my company. I can stay in the house by myself for a week and be absolutely fine. Now, a lot of people I think feel like because as an introvert that I don't interact with other people, I do. I mean, if you follow my YouTube channel, you see all the people I get to train with, all the things that I've done. First time today. <laughs> and today we're going to race some bikes around the track. And can you explain to everyone that this is actually practical wear and not just because we want to wear spandex? Oh, I just want to wear spandex. Oh, me yeah. too, to be fair. Yeah. That's that what you told me off camera anyway. Well, yeah. It's 200 calories. Oh, the calories is on the screen. <laughs> so I go, you go, I go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jumped a few steps there. My mind's gone black. Okay. Good. <laughs> if I meet people that I click well with, like we get on and I do have friends. Yes, you don't see them often on my social media. My real close friends, I can count on one hand and they know everything about me. They all have normal jobs. Like I said, I'm in my 30s. My friends are in their 30s with actual professional jobs. And I am the one who's always taking selfies. Like one of my mates said, all you do is take selfies. Um, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's one thing about me is I'm an introvert who does social media for a living. I know that's weird. I've managed to overcome a lot of the obstacles of uh, being shy. I was very shy for a while. There's one thing that I have struggled with a lot in the past and that's anxiety, which thankfully I am slowly overcoming as years go by. I do sometimes struggle with feeling that I am not good enough on this platform and I'm talking about YouTube, Instagram, social media in general. I often think that I am subpar to other creators and that can get tough when trying to create content. Even as I'm saying this, I am doubting if I should be making this video and speaking about this so openly and how it will be perceived. But then again, what can you do? This is who I am, and I don't want to hide that aspect of my character. Other things that I absolutely love doing on my own every week include bouldering, which I do once a week. There is nothing like being on your own, just trying to climb very strange looking boulders, and I remember realizing how climbing is not just physical, but also very mentally challenging. I actually find it quite calming in a strange and messed up way. Now, I know a lot of you will probably be wondering about Break The Mold, why Break The Mold? Why do I always have Break The Mold either headband, either on my t-shirt, <laughs> or a backpack? Break The Mold is all about just being yourself and embracing new things. Not being afraid to step out of your comfort zone and trying things without being closed-minded. Break The Mold to me is all about having fun and being authentically yourself, no matter how you be perceived. I have been able to experience so many great things because of this mindset and I have met some incredible people too. And most importantly, life is a lot more fun. I'm going to teach you zapateado. Zapateado. Remember, yeah, I'm film a here. black person without rhythm. Zapateado is this. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Bloody hell. That's uh, a zapateado. Uh, it's, it's something a devil. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> 
I started cycling last year uh, during the winter months, which as you can imagine was probably not the best time to start because it's freezing cold, but it was such an invigorating moment and I realized that I absolutely love it. Funny story, when I started to use clippings the first day, I fell at the traffic light in front of a lot of people at Oxford Circus, which as you can imagine was really embarrassing. <laughs> First of all, what do you think of the t-shirt? <laughs> uh, I get this question asked a lot. A lot of you ask me, what do you do for a job? Uh, this is what I do for a job. I do so social media is a job. I've been doing it since 2019. Uh, I took the, I, I was a personal trainer before that. So yeah, this is how I earn a living. This is why I can afford to stay in the gym for five hours. Um, <laughs> but realistically, I train for an hour, an hour and a half max and probably spend another two hours filming content. Uh, this is what a lot of us who work in, who a lot of us who do fitness content anyway, this is kind of what we do. Um, but now I do vlogging, which <laughs> style of vlogs I do takes even longer. Um, I can probably shoot probably three, four hours of footage and I have to shrink it down to like 12 minutes. So yeah, this is what I do. see it is raining now welcome to England <laughs> it's sunny for a few days and now it's going to be raining for the whole week um yeah one of my goals I would love to travel um Okay, a few things. This was like the fifth take because the train was passing non-stop to... <laughs> yes, I look rough because this was after a session and that is sweat on my beard. I should have checked the mirror. Three, I'm not sure what that is on my lips, but I think it's, like, my lips are dry. I'm not sure. In conclusion, this segment is a mess because I'm using my Canon also, not my Sony. So the microphone, there was not an, there's no external mic. So yeah, everything about this segment is rough, <laughs> but this is real life. So I decided to leave this in. I haven't had the luxury of being able to travel around the world. So a few factors that affected that one, because I, even though I live in England, I was still Nigerian. So having to apply for passports was a nightmare. Um, and also I hate flying, <laughs> I absolutely hate it. My goal now is to travel the world. I would love to. I am lucky that i have that luxury now i waited purposely um i wanted to save enough to know that i'm secure before i do that and yeah that is one of my goals i would love to do travel the world asia is on my list is like my bucket list is japan south korea vietnam i would also love to go to bali as well um, but yeah travel is is definitely on that list and i cannot wait to make that happen Oh, so that's the video. Uh, I hope you found it uh, interesting enough to stay till this to, <laughs> to the end. Uh, if you did, thank you so much for watching. Um, I just thought that it would be nice to share uh, a, a, a more of an insight into who I am. I am I am more than the OB that lifts weight. I just talked about myself in the third person. Cringe. But there's more to me than just lifting weights. Yes, in a lot of my videos, uh, I tend to smile a lot and be happy a lot, but I have gone through quite a fair bit. So remember that social media is, a lot of it is all the positives, all the aspects we want you to see. And I have always wanted to show the vulnerable side. And just because you're a guy doesn't mean you cannot be vulnerable. Now, 
when you watch my videos you you, you get to know a, a bit more about who i am and my mindset and rather than just oh yeah he's the guy with the muscles <laughs> which is which is nice too to be fair uh yeah don't forget if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and also comment below if you do have similar interests if you enjoy the day in the life vlogs let me know i will do more of them i love doing them it allows me to be creative <laughs> it allows me to be creative so i would enjoy to do more of those and yeah what more content you want to see i would be happy to look through them and um and it doesn't have to be fitness as well um i'm trying to balance balance my content with fitness and other things because I'm not just again like I said fitness is a passion but I do enjoy other things too so yeah thank you so much for watching I'm going to go and enjoy the sun peace out